Stella had a due date of August 31st of 2016, and she decided she wanted to be here a little bit earlier. At 28 weeks, she made her debut. Stella really delivered herself because <laughs> she came flying out and bounced on the bed. That's, I mean, it was, it was crazy. <clears throat> and and uh, I, we got to touch her uh, uh, right before she left to get on the helicopter and her room was right by the helicopter pad so we got to see yeah. the helicopter fly away which was kind of comforting for her yeah anesthesiologist came in and said well one thing's for certain is that you have a fighter on your hands because she will not let them put it intubate her because she wants to breathe on her own the word they kept using for her like everyone that came in the room said she's a fierce little girl so she started out obviously in an incubator, um, closed. Why I say it was closed was because it was important to understand that when they have the CPAP on, and she was under a blue light with her little sunning goggles that they had over her eyes. So, so the blue didn't burn my eyes. So the blue didn't burn her eyes. Um, she, uh, the moisture that would have been in the incubator was incredibly important for her because she was so early. She slept a lot um, and she was fairly lethargic. Uh, and so the occupational therapist and the physical therapists found a um, portable video uh, DVD player and started playing um, Finding Nemo for her. And so that kind of helped stimulate her um, as far as them being able to see emotion and um, excitement, things like that. She would really watch it. And her primary doctor, Dr. Bender told us um, he was fairly concerned for her, but the fact that her brain kept growing at the rate that it was, he felt pretty confident that at some point they would figure out what was going on. And we spent the next eight weeks really working on getting her fed and what that should look like. She was on 24 hours of continuous feeds and we worked her to 20 hours of continuous feeds to be able to bring her home so that we had a four hour block where we wouldn't have to drag what we called our bionic baby out into the world. When we did bring her home for the first three days, she cried and we couldn't figure out why. We thought we weren't feeding her right, something was going on. And um, so I called one of our um, nurses and, and they said, no, she doesn't know that is home. And so the light bulb kind of went on of, okay, this is our home, but NICU is really her home. She is this little sassy filled <laughs> bucket of joy <laughs> that when she walks into a room, you're always like, oh boy, what's Stella going to do? She has no fear. She loves to do rock climbing, uh, rock walls. Um, and in fact, when she was in her tumbling class, uh, we look over and Stella has climbed all the way to the top of the building on the rock wall. And she's just the determined kid. It's, it's pretty amazing to watch. As Stella's mom spending as much time as I was in Cardinal Glennon and experiencing everything we did with the doctors and the nurses and just front staff people and the security guards and I mean from the janitors to <clears throat> the top um, to me it is an absolute humbling honor to be able to just be a face to Cardinal Glennon. Oh, see ya. Thanks.